Hi. Let's move. Okay. Psoriasis, a chronic systemic inflammatory skin disease. It manifests itself on many parts of the skin. And different clinical presentation or shades could be seen in different situations, such as when mimicking or in association with other diseases. And I would like to share with you some clinical situation where the clinical diagnosis is not obvious because of the different shades of the disease may be less than 50, but we should be aware of them. Psoriasis and seborrheic dermatitis are both chronic and erythematous scaly dermatoses that can involve the scalp and the face. It may be difficult to differentiate these two diseases when there is isolated scalp involvement and dermoscopy seems to be valuable for clinical diagnosis and differential diagnosis of scalp psoriasis and seborrheic dermatitis. This boy with scaly patches on the scalp with normal hair, these features fit with the diagnosis of psoriasis. But if we look on the side of the scalp, there is a patch without hair, it was tinea. So this patient has her head, psoriasis, and tinea capitis. Here we have two different patients with thick scales on the elbows and the sacral area. It was crusted scapulis and psoriasis. Two other patients with scales on the elbows. It was psoriasis and scabies. Here we have Leuconique raising from the proximal fold of the nail. It was psoriasis and onychomycosis. We have also three erythematous scaly lesions on the elbows in three different patients. It was Leishmania, psoriasis, and Leishmania. We have erythematous with slight delicate scaling on the elbows. It was tinea and psoriasis. So I am focusing on the elbows with this similar relation. It was eczema and psoriasis. Here we have a, a scaly lesion on the sole of two different patients, this lesion seemed to be similar. In fact, it was palmoplantar keratoderma and psoriasis. And here we have a plantar keratoderma with a yellow and thick keratoderma of the soles. It was psoriasis, and palmoplantar keratoderma de meleda. Here, these lesions are often misdiagnosed as tinea pedis, but in fact, it was psoriasis. Even here, between the different uh, tools, it was tinea, it was psoriasis, sorry. Two different patients, two different diagnoses. And here we have a uh, onychodystrophy of the thumb. It was the only lesion. But if uh, we have a look um, to the other parts of the skin, we find the squamous uh, lesion on the navel. It was psoriasis. Often misdiagnosed also as a tinea cruris. It was psoriasis. Same 
Let's move now to the evaluation. We have two patients, two different patients with almost similar lesion, I mean erythematous and slightly squamous lesion on the feet. It was tinea and psoriasis. Two different patients too, with almost similar lesion on the, on the soles. It was pipica and psoriasis. These lesions on the genital part, uh, on the genital area, are often misdiagnosed as STI. In fact, it was psoriasis and scabies. Here we have two keratodem, uh, a thick scale on the ear. In two different patients also, it was frictional keratoderma and psoriasis.